welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be showing you how to play a common break rhythm pattern that's used in different styles of Caribbean music, Latin music, like rumba, also salsa. And uh, you can use this in an ensemble. You can use it by yourself. If you're doing a solo, you can use it when you're jamming with people to cue beginnings, endings, transitions, all sorts of things. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to play this common Latin Caribbean percussion break. And you can use this on any drums. Usually it's played in a Latin drumming ensemble, so congas, bongos, cajones, you know, those kinds of instruments. But you can use this really with anything once you're comfortable playing it. So let's break this down. I'm gonna take you through a multi-part process right now. We're gonna vocalize it. I'll be playing it for you. We're gonna go stage by stage and learn this thing. And I hope you're excited. Thanks for joining me here on, on World Drum Club. So metronomes at 90, you're gonna count uh, the beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, keep that going. Boom, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Ba, 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 ba. Two, three, four. Bum ba, bum ba, ba bum ba bum ba bum. Bip 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 bip. Two and count. Bum ba, bum ba, ba bum ba bum ba bum. Bip 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 bip. Two ready hey. Bum ba, bum ba, ba bum ba bum ba bum. Bip 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 bip. Last time. Bum ba, bum ba, ba bum ba bum ba bum. Bip 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 bip. All right, so what's the last part of this break? Right, pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ba, 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 ba. So you got that, that's the easy part. There's two other elements, two other main elements. The first one is this move, right? And the first part of that is right on the beat. Two, three, four. Bum, ba, bum, ba. Just quarter note, eighth note. Bump bop, well, two eighth notes. <laughs> bump bop, second part. Bump bop, bump bop. Bump bop, bump bop. Bump bop, bump bop. Bump bop, bump bop. Now for that, let's bring in our friend, the 16th note. Bump bop, bump bop. Bump bop, bump bop. So here's one way you can look at this. I'm gonna slow this down even more. To 60. So if I was marking the time with my little motor here, slow it down. And I'm gonna say right, left, just because I'm playing right-handed right now. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The first two notes are gonna be on our right. Right, dominant hand. Ba 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 ba. Easy. Ba ba. The second two will be on the upbeat side, the non-dominant side. Ba 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 ba. So if I name them right, right, left, left. So if you get your little motor going. Let's hear it with the bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. All right, pretty simple. Maybe not that easy to do for some of you beginners, uh, or if you're not familiar with, you know, the syncopated notes, which are the notes in between the main notes, the offbeat notes. Uh, you can work on that, but let's move on and learn the second kind of chunk of this break, which involves um, a repeated figure. Again, a lot of these are sort of the same figure, but repeated um, across the rhythm. In this case, this moves across the bar line. So I'm gonna play the first part of the break, and then you'll hear after the first thing that we just heard, the first part, bop, 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 and then we've got a set of three figures So, 
bum, 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 bum. So let's put both of those together. Uh, we'll put the second part after the first part. And I'm going to repeat the second part a little bit just to focus on that. Two, three, four. Second part. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. So keep the beat. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. All right, you getting the hang of it? So if at any point you know, you're getting hung up with this, just go back, you know, start at the beginning or work on the parts that are difficult for you. You can review them. So there's really three parts, right? We covered the last one first. Bop, 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 right? That's the easy one. The first part, bom, bop, bom, bop, bom, bop, bom, bop. And the second, bom, 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 bom. Bum, 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 bum. All right, and then bop, 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 So let's put them all together, and you can follow along. We're still kind of slow here. Four. Two, three, and four, and bum. All right, so the tricky part, if there is one, and I think there is, is that transition, what we call over the bar line, between the first bar and the second bar. This is a two-bar phrase. And we've got the beginning, which is pretty straight ahead, right? Bum, ba, bum, ba. But that already sets up this kind of syncopated, you know, nebulous, floaty section. Ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. But that crosses over the downbeat. And that's where some of you are going to find it a little tricky. You just have to kind of trust and feel it in there. And then it comes back together really strong. Ba, 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 you know, towards the end. Very solidified. So, like the clave rhythm. Ba, ta, Got, got, got. It starts off on the downbeat, it ends on a very strong bop, bop, but in the middle it sort of floats across there. And I think this is similar to the rumba clave or even the son clave. So let's, um, I'm going to take this back up to tempo. I'm going to show you a few, couple different ways that you can apply it. And I'm going to talk about different ways that you can use this, you know, in your own drumming and what to do next. Uh, before we do that, I want to thank those of you who are supporters of the channel through patreon.com slash Kalani. And I want to ask any of you, any of you who are watching this, uh, even if it's for the first time you've just tuned into World Drum Club or if you've been tuning in to us for years, um, to please support the channel. Um, I, I usually ask you guys at the end, you know, go to Patreon, but I really want to uh, make the point that we are a community-supported channel. Uh, I do this for a living. I'm a professional musician. We've all been moving more online. So instead of publishing DVDs and selling you know, videos that way, I started with tape. Uh, so instead of selling, you know, VHS or DVDs or anything like that, or charging per, you know, video, like putting a wall around a website and then charging you access, uh, we're basically, it, it works on the honor system. And if you get value out of this, if you get something from watching these videos, and we've got over 450 videos on World Drum Club, that's how much work I've done to give you guys content to enrich your lives, enrich your, your musician lives and your lives in general. If you get any value from that, then um, complete that reciprocative, uh, reciprocation and just leave a tip in the tip jar. You can sign up at patreon.com slash Kalani and that's how we fund the channel. Um, and that's how we have a relationship um, of reciprocity. <laughs> all right, so I appreciate all of you that support the channel. We've been getting more patrons, but I'd like to see more people get involved so we can bring you even more. All right, let's wrap up this video with a few examples. Um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Let's go up to 80. I'm gonna take out the 16th notes, just eighth notes. And um, 
See if you can play this along with me or say it along with me. One, two, three, four. So I want to point out that I'm doing some different tones here. There's no hard and fast rules. Generally speaking, you might hear it played the way I'm playing it in terms of the tones or the drums. Like low, high, low, high, low, 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 low. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, but again, you know, this is an artistic call, so uh, you can do that what you will. Do, of, do with that of what you will. Um, in the middle part, you could stretch those out. Some people like to stretch those out a little bit. The bum 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 You can kind of almost turn them into a triplet feel. Let's see what that sounds like. Right, so a little longer in there, a little more fluid. You can also put in a little marker. Uh, sometimes people do that uh, before the last figure. So that might sound something like this. And. You know, just a little beep, beep right in there or make it louder. Um, so where can you put this? You can put it at the beginning of a tune. Let's say you're getting ready to play and you want to launch into a rhythm. Count it off. Everybody plays this. You know, you can put it in the middle. Um, you're playing. Use it as a break. Use it as an ending. Maybe if somebody does this as a call. And that's your ending. So you can use it different ways. Like I said, you can play this on, you know, anything really, any instruments. Uh, the way I'd like you to learn it from here is, first of all, be able to vocalize it over a simple pulse. Then uh, take it to the drum and practice it on your drums in different ways. Uh, like you, you've heard some of the things I'm doing, you might want to do flams, like low, low flam, low flam. Do whatever you want, play it, play around with it. But uh, this is super important. This is the last thing I'm going to leave you with in this lesson is, uh, I'd like you to go find this break in some music. Because, you know, the World Drum Club bubble is like a laboratory, right? It's like your classroom but uh, music is out there in wild, in, in the wild, in nature. And that's where you need to find it and learn. So go listen to some music, Latin music, primarily, and see if you can find this break. It's, it's out there in tunes, I guarantee it. So if you have any suggestions, if you're watching this and you happen to know a, the name of a song or the, an artist or a band, um, and you wanna leave that in the comments, that would be a great thing for us to load the comments up with are some specific examples of where this break is. So I'm gonna leave you with that as your homework. Go out and find it in nature. Find this being used, enjoy it. If you have any suggestions, if any of you have any suggestions for how to learn this uh, figure better or in a different way that, that I've just shown you, uh, please leave them in the comments. And if you'd like to do more or ask me a question personally, you can do that over at our Patreon site, patreon.com slash Kalani. Uh, send me a message and I'd be happy to get back to you personally. Um, that's for patrons here on YouTube. You're free to do what you want. Um, you can uh, leave your comments down below. Just make sure they're kind and helpful. Uh, we appreciate that. And as always, go out and make some great music. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. And if you haven't already, there's another uh, Roomba break video. I've got another break that I'm showing you guys a little, maybe a little more challenging than this one, um, but also super useful and fun. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to that one in the comments um, in the description below this video. Uh, and you'll probably see it come up on the side, wherever the side is over here. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in a future lesson.